Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be a room tour for 2023. I recently just cleaned up my entire Lego setup, rearranged everything, bought myself a brand new TV, got my computer and everything brought down here, my PlayStation 5, moved all of my parts over into stack-ons and just cleaned up my entire area. So I wanted to do a quick little tour of my room, kind of how I organized my parts the new changes that I made and everything like that. So starting over on the left, I just picked these up actually for my job. They're just little organizers. And in the bottom here, I got black plates, green plates and dark tan plates. And then here I have a ton of reddish brown left over from Endor. So trying to organize that in a way that made sense to me was pretty difficult. But here I have one by six plates and tiles and then two by six plates, four by four plates and then here I have light bluish gray mountain slopes, dark bluish gray. These are all of the sprue things from the jungle plants. And I didn't want to throw them out. They're useful for like vines and stuff. So I had a ton of them left over. So just chuck them in there. And then I have palm tree leaves, dark green leaves. This thing up here, I'm not really sure what to do with it. I had kind of a bunch of these panels. So I didn't want to just forget about them. So I just chucked them in here for now and I'm not completely done going through my collection so this will grow and change as I go on but for now I just have uh, one by fours one by threes one by twos and one by one panels and then I'll fill out the rest of this as time goes on and then here this was the biggest thing that I wanted to do I wanted to utilize these stack-ons these I also bought recently those two I've had for ages um, but I just picked these up recently and I wanted to kind of organize the parts that I use a lot for most of my mocks every time and just have it in a place that I can just easily access them, not have to dig through random colored, sorted, not really uh, bins of parts. So kind of what I did was I started with the small parts and then just went along in lines of color. So up here we got black and the basic gist of this is I'll pick a color that I have almost every part of which looks like brown. So here is the quarter circle one by one tiles and then regular one by one tiles, cheese slopes, one by one plates, one by two tiles. And then if I have ingots of the color, I'll also have that. So then here like in tan, uh, or light bluish gray, I have some ingots here. Um, and then two by two tiles. If I have enough of them, then they get shot over into those pick a brick cups. Um, and then regular other tiles. And then sometimes if I have just a bunch of weird tiles that I don't really have enough of each specific one, I'll just chuck them all together. So these are a one by four tiles. Um, for other ones, you can see here, it's kind of just a mixture of whatever I had. And then um, curved slopes. For brown, I have the slopes split up into bigger kind of angled slopes and then just smaller slopes. And for other ones, like, for reddish uh, brown, I don't really have too many slopes. And kind of the same with dark orange, medium flesh, tan, dark tan. So those, I ended up just chucking them in bigger bins like this. But for dark gray, I have so many mountain slopes from over the years of just collecting pieces from my mocks. So I have one by twos, one by threes, and one by four slopes in here. And then I have different wedge slopes. And then these one by two by two mountain slopes. And then inverted slopes, which most of these are just mountain slopes, inverted kind. Um, but anyway, moving back over here. So I have black, dark gray, light gray, white, reddish brown, bit of sand blue. Don't have much of that color. Um, these are actually, I picked these up from Lug Bulk last year. These are regular flesh one by two plates. So I lumped those in with medium flesh and then I got dark tan. Um, one small thing here of dark brown one by one plates and then dark orange tan as I already mentioned before and then kind of as it goes across I tried to make all of the pieces flow in a way that made sense to me so what I ended up doing here was dragging out the dark orange kind of like into this last sack on and then as I went I added in wedge plates and so then this top section kind of became where I stuck all my wedge plates. So for most of them, I have like a right and then middle or 
like these ones, which I call them middle because there's not they're not a left or a right. They kind of just fit wherever you need them. So I'll have like right, middle, and left. And then that kind of goes up here for tan, dark tan, brown, black, light blue gray, dark blue gray, white, as I said before. And then for light blue gray, I had a bunch of these. So I put them off in their own. I have both the left and the right side in this one here. And then this is just the medium or the middle. And then these are right and left, white, light gray, black. And so that's kind of the top section. Doesn't really make sense probably to you guys, but this was the easiest way that I could figure out to do it. And then here as we move down, we've got one by twos, obviously black, dark gray, light gray, tan. These are the tan ingots. I got so many of these that I just ended up putting them in their own bin. Um, dark tan, sand green. These I have way more of them, but they're in filler right now. So once I separate that out, that is probably going to go into just a pick a brick cup because that's where I got most of those. And then I got dark orange, um, one by two tiles and plates there. I had so many of these one by one medium nougat plates that I ended up just chucking them in this big one because they didn't fit in the little ones. And then we got reddish brown and dark brown one by twos. These two here are still empty. I'm not sure what I want to do with them. And rather than put something useless in there, I'd rather wait until I found something that made sense. So that's why those two are empty. And then here in this next section, is kind of like studs not on top stuff. So these are all random one by two, one by four uh, assorted colors in here. This is all bigger light blue gray ones. And then these are all one by one light blue gray. These are all random assorted colors of one by ones. So this is like Travis bricks and all that random stuff all mixed together. And then coming down here is tan and dark gray. And then it kind of molds into just um, headlight bricks. So this is all random colors um, Tan and dark tan clear then this becomes brackets. So these are all Regular brackets not inverted inverted is on the bottom and then that kind of is a row up to here Which are these pieces? Which I don't really know what to call them but These are really nice and useful. So I stuck them over by the brackets because they're also for you know building on the side and then this is also not really a whole filled in section because most of these pieces I have coming from lug bulk or bricklink orders or just stuff like that. So over here on the left, we have mostly translucent stuff. This is translucent green one by one tiles and then trans red plates. I have a bunch of other trans colors, but for the most part, I don't really use them in mocks. So these ones I do use for lava and lights and stuff like that. And then these are good for ponds. And that's really the reason that I have them here. This is trans one by one uh, tiles in the dark trans, trans brown or trans black. Um, and then these are the one by two tiles. These are regular clear trans. This is plates, tiles, and one by ones. And then here we have obviously trans light blue, uh, one by one plates and one by two. And then I have studs mixed in here because I kind of sold all of my rough water studs because I didn't use them and people would pay me handsomely for them. And then we have dark blue translucent plates and then moving down we have more uh, these are the one by two translate blue and then a clear studs trans red studs this is going to grow also this is really empty right now but this is going to grow this is going to be of all of my olive green plates dark green plates and i just have sand green mixed in because i have very few of those these are green curb slopes and then over here, this is like my botanical area, all of my plants and stuff like that. So we got these olive green stems, regular grass stems, the new style grass stems. Then up here we got vines, these sword pieces that it uses ferns, bamboo, regular random flower pieces, just all kind of mixed in there. The carrot stems from Easter that one year and the light green or bright green of these three leaf tier, whatever you want to call these things. And we're also from that Easter wave of pick a brick. And then up here, you'll notice a bunch of empty ones. These are also from that uh, lug book that's coming in. So I'll be filling this in. These are going to be olive green of the, um, this piece here, the three leaf or whatever you want to call that. 
So this is gonna be filled in with olive green of those. And then we've got olive green of these things that were on Faker Brick, olive green grass stems. This is gonna be the dark green of that three leaf plant. And uh, dark green of the spiky stem things. And then this is going to be dark green of these. The grass stems that kind of have like ones going off on all random different directions. So that will get filled in later. Then we got green of those things, green claws, green of those spiky things that I just showed you. Um, those weird moss ivy looking bright green. And then this is bright green. This is like Minecraft pieces and just little flower stem kind of things. And then brown, we got brown stems and dark orange stems. These things, I bought a bunch of these for Endor, only ended up using like two of them, but maybe I'll use those eventually in something else. And we got whips, and these are assorted bar pieces that I'll use for like sticks and stuff like that on the ground. And then down here is more of the plates. This is the same kind of uh, organization that I use up here for these colors, just down here in green. And I brought these down here to be close to the botanical area plants and stuff. So we got dark green on top, regular green, and olive green. Don't really need to go into that because I already covered it up there. And then this also doesn't really matter that much because most of these are just placeholders, but I guess I can go over it anyways. These are the one by two um, hinge piece. And I used a ton of these in the trees of Endor. So have a bunch of those left over, which is why those are there. One by one clips. As I already covered here, we got more slopes. This is in a continuation over of the brackets that were there, because I have way too many of these. So these are the inverted ones and regular ones on top. And then we got a ton of jumper plates. These are also from the trees of Endor. Um, and then here, this is something recent. Don't know if these are gonna end up staying where they are. But these are also just random arches of different colors. We've got the grays and tan and brown. And then these are random piping things. These are weird things that I need to sort out. They're just profile bricks of different assorted varieties and colors. We've got more gold jumpers also from the Trees of Endor. All these minifigure guns um, from Star Wars sets mainly. And then these are crates that I just have together so I can quickly just grab them if I'm making a mock and want to fill it out. And then up top here, I have more of these things. This one is all a bunch of cheese slopes that I don't have enough of to warrant me putting them in the stack-ons. And then these are all grill tiles or um, grill slopes of different colors. Just random stuff. Brick badge, um, the Endor set, a couple random tiles that I pulled out of my collection and these are all of the custom guns. I have them sorted by like Empire and clones and rebels and these ones are just kind of miscellaneous ones So that's how I have that then I have a sealed um, Mandalore dual set baby Yoda obviously chilling like a G And then here we have most of my leaves. So these are all of the um, Swamp vine thingies the only thing I can think of these with is Dagobah So haven't really used much of those and we got little green leaf pieces these are big green leaves and then we got big bright green and pink and then we got big and little I only have two of the big ones of dark orange leaves dark brown leaves and olive green leaves these are white plates and tan plates and these are all of my droids so these are battle droids super battle droids and commando droids and I have one Geonosian battle droid just sitting in there too and then the drawers in this, I'm eventually going to hopefully move my minifigures in there so I can just pull out a drawer, sift through parts and stuff like that. But as of right now, I don't have anything in there or that one. And the one all the way on the bottom is just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff that I use for video equipment and my computer stuff. And then I have a surge protector with a charger, a space heater. And then these things I'm gonna paint eventually later on. So don't judge the marker boxes, but this right here, is random reddish brown pieces that I didn't have anywhere else to put so I just chucked them in here and the same is true on the bottom but this is in tan so most of those are bricks and plates and stuff like that 
Then we got Lewis Kiwi's old AAT that I just recently modified a little bit, but I'm gonna do more to that. And that I just moved because I didn't have enough space to display over there. And then moving down here, these are all pieces that I don't really use a ton of, but I wanna keep sorted out. So I just chuck them in bags, random stuff that I'll use eventually, but not really important enough to go over there. Then we got my new TV that I just bought and some more set boxes. If you guys have watched any of my old videos that used to have me sitting in the chair in front of all the set boxes, I like that, but I don't have enough space to continue that. So I just picked a couple and I'll probably rotate them out as I go. Um, Minecraft poster. <laughs> and then this is my camera bag with all my equipment, a Bluetooth speaker, my laptop, the remote control for the TV. And then these are most of my just kind of rare or valuable um, minifigures, as you can see here. We'll just kind of glaze over them. I don't wanna spend too much time, but you can kind of get a look at some of the rare figures that I have. And then over here is my minifigure wall. This isn't all of the minifigures that I own, just a bunch of the ones that I have multiples of, or like armies, stuff like that. So we'll give a little glaze over here. These are all my clones of the phase one variety, kind of going over into ARF troopers. Coming down, we got phase two. These are actually custom um, 13th Battalion clone troopers from Jedi Fallen Order that I picked up from Blackbird Studios or something. I'll put his Instagram in a card. He makes really cool Lego um, version 212 using real Lego parts. So, or uh, 13th, not 212 but genuine Lego parts printed. So I'll eventually use those in a Fallen Order mock. And then we got Recon, 501st, 41st, regular, and two uh, ARC and more scouts from Kashyyyk. And then coming down, we got Empire. We got a bunch of Sand Troopers, Shock Trooper, Damaged and Regular Storm Troopers, into some of the Battle Pack Troopers, Agent Callus, and some Officers. And the last row is Old Republic, and First Order, and Mandalorians. And this isn't all of the Mandalorians. As you can see, this is only two of those from the Battle Pack, but I just put them in there as a placeholder. So that's some of the minifigures I just ended up doing that today. And then the rest of them are in this here. Not all of them are complete, so this is just a bunch of random minifigure parts. And then in here is a bunch of accessories lightsabers, hats, backpacks, stuff like that, capes. This is stuff that I need to sort out, but are kind of cool pieces that I just didn't really want to lose in the void of unsorted stuff. So most of this stuff down here is unsorted. This is unsorted um, grays, and that's white. This is all the Duplo that I have, great for filler. This is unsorted whites, but more usable parts than that. These are like yellowed and discolored parts. These are the ones that still look good, translucent pieces. This old thing, I just have a bunch of bags in there. Then we got unsorted in the pretzels. We got <laughs> unsorted tan pieces, reddish brown, and I still need to go through that because obviously you can see some orange and stuff. And then in here, this is random round pieces. Like, I don't know. I don't really know why I have that, to be honest. And then this is all of my stickered elements and printed elements and stuff. Didn't want to just lose those. Moving up to the other real main area of sorted stuff. We got all of these tan one by two modified bricks from the Trees of Endor. These are dark red two by two tiles. And then a couple pieces of foliage. This is obviously the bright orange color and um, lavender leaves. And then here we have more foliage. These are bright green of those jungles and dark green or regular green. These are pieces I used from Tatooine, all of the weird rounded sphere pieces. And then most of these are tiles, so we got tan two by two. These are dark gray um, two by four. These are light gray two by two. I think I have these, yeah, these here are two by two in dark gray. These are all of these um, dark green studs with the hole in the center. These are really cool pieces. Um, two by four plates from Endor in reddish brown. We got um, two by two medium flesh and dark orange 
tiles. These are masonry bricks in dark bluish gray and two by four tiles in light bluish gray. Then this, some of this stuff is not Lego related. I just ran out of space, so I had to start just chucking my stuff anywhere. So black that I have to sort through. These are bins and stuff that I haven't used, but I'm going to eventually probably once I get more stuff. So just chuck those all there. And here we have a bunch of big plates that I'll use for filler or, you know, setting up stuff in mocks. And then we have base plates, grays, and a bunch of smaller ones. We got a bunch of just the books. I have more of these books, but these I just kept out because this one is new. I kept this guy sealed. It's the Crimson Mall, Crimson Dawn. And then this one I just picked up for free at a yard sale. So, <laughs> and then here we have more gray unsorted pieces. These are all sets that I have in bags. I just sorted through my collection because most of my sets I take apart because I don't really like using sets in mocks. I will only do that very rarely, but this is obviously the droid gunship as you can see. This is the Gungan Bongo sub thingy. Um, that's where I got the uh, Queen Amidala figure. And then this is a not 100% complete, probably like 90% complete uh, ARC-170 fighter. And then we have a creationary game that is definitely not complete and random slopes in different pieces or different colors. And then, as I said before, this kind of got taken over by my stuff. So here we have um, Bogano still taking that or keeping that together. And then we have a sealed 501st set. We have a Tantive 4 that I won for free in a giveaway. These sets that were provided to me through Empire Leg from Lego. These are just random sets that I built with my girlfriend. And then this was given to me by one of my friends. Don't really like BB-8 or Pop Vinyls, but I decided to keep it because obviously it was a gift. And then this is my old camera and old tripod. That's my new tripod and I'm using my new camera. And this is the UCS Slave one. I modified a little bit of this. Like you can see here, this has more sand green and this is a little bit smoother. It's still not super smooth because it's just a weird shape. UCS ATST, Malevolence here. Um, the old Vulture Droid, I just recently parted through my uh, parts and discovered that I had that old set. This was a magma cube <laughs> way back here that I built. This was one of the first things that I ever built with Lego and I still have it together, so I have no reason to take it apart. This is my older public fighter that I made. And moving down here is the original uh, Mandalorian fighter. This is Luca S. Project's Bark Speeder. The popcorn ship that I made for Mos Eisley and a land speeder that I made for Onderon way back when. This is Goals version 3 ATSD that I used in Endor. That is why the AAT is over there because after I finished um, sorting through the stuff that I brought to Brick Fair, I ended up just putting this here because it's so cool and I want it on display. And then we have the newer Mandalorian fighter. That's probably gonna get put into a bag eventually. And some of the Renegade clone recolors that I did of the V35 speeder from Tatooine and another popcorn ship. And then moving over here, this is the Endor that I just made a video on. Still have that together, as I said. Wanted to keep it as a display. This is a bunch of my grays. So this is dark gray plates, light gray plates here, dark gray bricks, light gray bricks here. And most of these um, are empty right now because I still have most of the Imperial communications base that I made in 2021. Still have most of that together because I'm terrible at taking things apart. And then we have unsorted greens, oranges, yellows in that, and red in there. And then the last thing to cover is these. I actually picked these up on the side of the road. They were free, so I just took them. They're like rolly carts, and I have just random filler brick in there. This one's empty for now at the top. But these things are kind of cool. I can just kind of roll them around if I want bricks or whatever, and then I can just, you know, rotate them up. But these are two by twos, two by fours, and really huge bricks. And those are one by bricks, and one by ones, and one by two bricks just to fill in kind of smaller stuff. But I believe that is basically everything that I wanted to cover in this room tour. This is a huge step in the right direction for me personally in organizing and being able to find the part that I want when I want it. 
that's why I have a bunch of stuff in those bags, even though I don't really have a spot for it and I don't use them a whole lot. If I just need a lot of them, I know where to find them now. So that's what I'm trying to do with my entire collection. As I said, I'm not 100% done yet. There's still a few bags that I have to go through and just sort out. But as of now, this is definitely the cleanest and most organized my room has ever been. So this is why I decided to make this video just so I can, while I have it clean and before it gets, you know, destroyed again, I can just kind of have a video showcasing what it's supposed to look like. But that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.